it is a perfect autumn day to enjoy the scenic views of the leaves changing and take a day trip somewhere. But of course, what would a day trip be without a little thrifting? And this charming place seems like the perfect place to go thrifting at. This is the Wilmington Flea. I wake up, I don't want to make my bed, I'll save up all my energy instead. You take up all the energy I have inside. And I can't find a way to just ignore it And I can't really take it anymore Cause I can't stop you from running around through my mind Won't stop running, never will I'll take some melatonin pills this time Cause I just wanna sleep tonight Yeah, I just wanna sleep But lately I've been sleeping way too much Cause baby, I've been dreaming about us And I can't help but wish that all my dreams came Stop dreaming by you So I've been getting bags under my eyes Cause I've been staying up too late at night Just writing all my feelings out on this page Deciding whether I should just confess or hide it Tell myself it's for the best But either way I go, I know you're never gonna feel the same So I drink my coffee, harder iced To get me through another lonely night I wanna fall asleep, but I shouldn't fall asleep this time Lately I've been sleeping way too much Cause baby I've been dreaming about us And I can't help but wish that all my dreams came that was doing five dollars for each item on the table and so they were just trying to move things out and i'm just like a deal if it's a deal i'm always here for it so first up are actually these salt and pepper shakers for obvious reasons thought they were perfect for fall just really cute and different i like the shape of them love the color of them too and i thought it was just kind of a perfect way to add a little color to my kitchen i was going back and forth between getting this and something else i landed on these though because i was like well you know could always use another salt and pepper shaker. Meanwhile, I literally went shopping yesterday, not remembering that I picked these up and picked up two additional salt and pepper shakers. For whatever reason, these did not stay in my mind. It's probably just because I got so many things from that table for $5 that I was just like, okay, these are $5, these are $5, okay. In addition to the yellow ones, I have these and then two other ones that you'll see next week, so. 
great job Rach. But yeah, these are so cute. I don't believe they're hand painted, but they do have this kind of cute character and the jars themselves are like painted to kind of look a little distressed. And $5 I think is a fair price for salt and pepper shakers. Now that I have these, I probably will actually utilize the salt and pepper shakers that I have. I mean, I have to at this point. Next up is this shelf. I'm pretty sure this is just a shelf with a paper towel holder. It removes like this. Originally though, I didn't think this came off. I honestly thought it was a pot hanging rod. So it has like this kind of wire style and obviously it's a galvanized metal. It was just really cute. $5. I really wanted something to like hang utensils off of. So at the time I was just like, yeah. And honestly it looks cute with the salt and pepper shakers on it. Again, $5. So the salt and pepper shakers were originally 12 and this one was selling for $34. Next up are these hammered metal utensils. So for me, these are just style pieces. I mean, you could tell too, it's got the divots and everything like that, that it was probably hammered to create it. And they're very different from what I have in my home currently, but they were being sold for $10 each. So I asked the vendor, if they were being sold together as five. And the vendor said, no, they're $5 each. However, the vendor was so gracious and offered them both to me for five. At that point, definitely had to grab them. And the last thing I picked up at this booth was this cutting board. I love the shape of it. I won't lie, I have a lot of cutting boards. And eventually I do wanna make a plate rack in order to show off all the cutting boards that I have. But I absolutely loved this shape. Just based off the finish of this, my guess is that this was probably painted. Something tells me this is just gonna have a really beautiful wood under it. I'm so tempted to just do a small part on the back, see what it's like underneath, and if it is actually a nice wood, I probably will sand it down back to the natural wood. Honestly, have nothing against it being painted black. I think it's beautiful. I'm just really living for wood right now, and so give me all the variations of wood. That's all I want right now. You might see this at a later date, back to wood. If not though, just know that I failed. But naturally, I'll keep you posted on that. Next up is this little jar right here. Love the color of it. Kind of like a grayish, like a gray beige. I don't have this kind of style yet. And I really like these obscenely small handles on it. Based off of the holes, it makes me think that there was probably a metal handle at some point here that is no longer there. However, the fact that these holes are just there, I don't know, that's kind of a vibe too. I probably use it for a vase, although by itself too, I think it's still really beautiful. So I picked this one up for $3. I thought $3 for a stoneware piece. Again, a really good price that I was truly happy with. So next up is a picture. It's this piece right here. I do know that this is obviously not the original. It's a reprint of a famous painting. The reason why I know it's a famous painting, Animal Crossing. So I picked this one up. I actually really love the color scheme of it. I was curious about it too, because I didn't know the title of the piece and so I ended up looking it up. And the backstory about the painter and what this painting signifies is actually really cool too. This picture was apparently a little bit of a controversy back in the day. This was $10. It's funny, I picked it up and like handed the money to what I thought was the vendor. Turns out it was the vendor next to the person's booth. He's like, oh, this is actually not my booth, but we're all friendly here. But yeah, $10, it was just a great piece, a great story and something that I'd be happy to put on my shelves or on my wall somewhere. So yeah, and last but not least is probably my favorite pick of the day. Probably one of the best deals that I've ever come across when it comes to like just picking up things for really good prices. It's this mirror though. I normally, when I'm at the flea market, I don't like going up and asking what things are. Sometimes I can walk away without even asking, especially if the vendor is busy talking to someone else and they just like look like they're enjoying themselves. It sounds ridiculous because I'm sure they want the sale, but I don't want to be the person who kind of like interrupts and like spoils a good conversation for them. However, this mirror was just too beautiful to like not even ask. Like it didn't have a price but I was gonna ask. And I'll tell you, I walked up to it fully ready to pay like $25 for this. I was thinking to myself, okay, $25. I know that's a really good deal for it and it's obviously a lot more. I'm just gonna go with that in mind. If it's higher, I'll think about it to myself and make the decision then. So I asked the vendor how much this one was. $5. I could not pull out my wallet and the $5 bill fast enough. $5. I mean, based off of what it looks like, I knew it was at least a vintage mirror. However, I'm like, I'd say it's older than like at least 20 years. And aside from like a scratch on the mirror and a slight split in the wood up here that honestly is barely visible. $5 is just a blessing. At this age, in such great condition, at a flea market for $5, 
like this place was kind of like the flea market of dreams. Everyone had good stuff and for what I saw as far as like people trying to move stuff as far as like older vintage stuff, uh, very fair on the prices. I was just like this is the place that I'm going to. I'm going to this place again. So as you can see it's a very interesting shape. Really should have cleaned this mirror. It's kind of bothering me right now. The detail at the top too gorgeous. Like it's vintage clearly. The backing and just the hooks themselves are dead giveaways. Yeah honestly gorgeous. The dark wood too Love it. For a split second, I thought I was going to put it on the mirror wall, but this is just too beautiful that I feel like it just needs its own area. Not 100% sure where it's going to reside yet. So it's either going to be on across the wall of my living room or perhaps my bedroom. I'm not sure. It's just so gorgeous. I don't know what to do with it, but I love it so much. It probably made me too entirely happy, particularly giddy happy to find this for $5, but I was just like, that's the deal of the century. I don't know how much this is worth per se, but I'm saying it's probably worth more than $5. I mean, sold. I don't think I've ever been to a flea market that size, which was a fairly small size, and just have such an amazing time and see such amazing prices too. Will I need to go there again? 100%. Definitely worth the trip for me in my opinion. But if you like this video or if you liked anything from the haul, definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up. But I want to say thank you so much for watching and thank you for thrifting with me. I hope you enjoyed it and so I will see you in the next one. Bye!